This month, Julian Henderson becomes the ninth Bishop of Blackburn. He moves to us in Lancashire from Guildford in Surrey. Bishop, thank you very much for joining us. What did you think when you first learned that you were to be the Bishop of Blackburn? Well, it came as a big surprise. Uh, and obviously, I'd been for an interview uh, the day before, but to receive that telephone call was uh, quite a shock because I knew there were other candidates and to find that I was the one that those who'd prayed and had interviewed me actually felt that I was the person through the job uh, it was very humbling. It was a considerable honour to feel asked to do this because it's a big responsibility and to be given that measure of trust. Uh, so, yes, it was a shock. It was a very humbling and a great honour. You've had a great deal of experience both as a Christian and also within the Church of England. So how has that informed you so far? Well, my, my journey as, as a Christian goes back many, many years. I was brought up in a very stable family uh, where church going was a, a regular thing. Uh, I went to a school where there was a, a chapel and uh, was quite involved in the, the running of those uh, events um, until somebody took me aside and explained about a personal faith in Christ, which really was rather new to me. And they explained to me uh, the cross and why Jesus had died and the difference that he'd made. And so that then led me to a more personal understanding, a faith within rather than just an external religious observance. Uh, and that then led on to uh, study as uh, theology at university and ordination and then serving as a, a curate in uh, Islington, North London, and then as a vicar in Hastings and then as a vicar in Claygate in Surrey, and then for the last eight years as the Archdeacon of Dorking, which has been, been a great privilege and I trust has been a good preparation for this next step. What were your first impressions of Lancashire? Well, I think it's a, it's a great place. The sun has shone a great deal since we moved in August, and uh, even this last uh, weekend or so in September, it's been pretty warm. I'm told that's not normal, but I've enjoyed the sunshine. I've had to convince myself that I was not the one who brought it, and that there is going to be some wet weather on the way. But no, we've had a great welcome. We've met some wonderful people. I find that people in the shops are much warmer, talk more openly, uh, and so it's been, been a very good beginning. We're, we're enjoying finding our way round uh, and learning uh, which motorway connects with where, and which bit of uh, countryside leads to another. So no, it's been very, very good. We've really enjoyed it and look forward to exploring and getting to know the county over the next few years. When we first met you, you were at a food bank in Blackburn. That's how you were announced to the county. Is poverty something that really concerns you? I'm very aware of the pressures that a lot of people find and want to do all I can to help relieve some of those pressures that people find coming upon them. And uh, we've had a bit of experience of that recently uh, in our home because we have uh, given a home to somebody who is unemployed and uh, unable to find somewhere to live and he's been with us for a couple of years and we've been seeing him get out of that poverty trap and welfare dependency. He's now got a job, he's just this last week moved into his own flat. So uh, I look forward to meeting all kinds of different people and uh, uh, hope to be the kind of person that people uh, can approach and feel able to approach uh, with issues, concerns that they may have. So I hope there's going to be a real engagement between myself as the bishop uh, in the diocese, but also between the church and, and, the, and the county, so that we're not just a ghetto, a small group of people huddled away in buildings with shut doors, but really engaging with the place where God has placed us. Issues of ethnic and religious diversity are really important in Lancashire. What kind of experience have you had of those? I'm interested in them. I have less experience than a lot of my colleagues here have, and they are real experts. I'm really glad to be joining a team of people here who have got that experience. In Woking, um, nearby where I lived in Surrey, we had a large uh, Muslim community and the oldest mosque in the country uh, was present there. So I've had a certain amount of experience of working with those of other faiths um, in, in that setting. But I have much to learn and I'm glad there's a team here to share that with. There are some areas of controversy in the Church of England at the moment, for instance, women bishops. What's your thinking on that? Uh, I'm fully supportive of women in leadership and women to be bishops in the Church of England and, and in general Synod have voted in favour uh, of that and was elected onto Synod on that ticket. Uh, however, I did vote against the measure as it was uh, put to the general Synod last November because I felt it wasn't a strong enough provision for those who've got a theological conviction that it's not the right step. And so I, I want to support those who can't go with this development but I do want to see women uh, as bishops in the House of Bishops and playing their full role in the leadership of the church. We need them. One of the most important questions you can ask anybody in Lancashire is which football team do you support? 
That's a very dangerous question to ask the Bishop of, uh, of Blackburn, who is responsible for all of Lancashire and therefore uh, several football teams. So I'm going to be supportive of all the teams. Um, I will, uh, when there's a derby and one team is playing another, I'll uh, say perhaps, well, the best team should win and therefore not nail my colours to one mast because that could be uh, difficult. I need to represent all the different uh, supporters clubs around the, the county. With your new ministry as the Bishop of Blackburn, what are you most looking forward to? I, uh, I'm looking forward to all sorts of different things. Um, and uh, I think mostly getting going. We've had a long wait since the announcement on March the 1st. And while I've been grateful for that time of preparation, it actually is now very important to just get started. And there's a whole programme of things uh, in place for me to get out and about to meet people and to learn what the issues really are here in Lancashire. So I suppose the, the most important thing I'm looking forward to is, is getting going and then uh, sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's really important to me and I love to explain that message to people who've never heard it and encourage them to believe and trust in him as well. Bishop, thank you very much.